Hello and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to be doing lab 41 that is creating active directory groups. I guess I have to close the old lab. All right, so let's get started. If you want to go start on your machine, here are the instructions. All right, let's get started. So I I have done all this before on my own and very, very uh, long time ago, maybe three years. All right, so let's get started. Tools Active Directory. So we can now open up the Server Manager. Use on computer. So this, this stuff like, yeah, for a common help desk where uh, but in a smaller environment uh, where you will be managing these uh, in a corporate environment it will be a totally different team so using computer tools to users and computers new OU so we're gonna create a new OU So we're gonna create a new one in here. Organizational unit, we're gonna name it. HR department. And I just want to make sure that everything is correct <laughs> for because I at the end I have to submit it right here and get credit department oh so this one you saw it uh, let me show you again So this one is checked. If you uncheck it, you can delete it. But the thing is, it is there for a reason that uh, user does not delete them. It becomes a big mess uh, if if you uh, even that's OU has been in there for maybe a few months or years, and uh, a lot of editing in terms of user rights and properties. So, but you can delete it there's an extra step involved that you have to go and then do that and then yeah you can still do it it's doable so now i'm going to move a new user into it so users folder these are all the users So we're get moving guests to HR department. That is not uh, good. Just kidding. I mean, why would you move guests to your HR? And it's there. You can check. So we're gonna create a new group for a group. You can right click here or right click over there. I'm gonna right click here. That's how I like to do. And click on group. And for the group name. user provisioning can I copy it nope user provisioning you can see it's global and security 
so distribution group is that you use for to push out communication security groups are that you can allow uh, or assign permission roles and for example uh, you give this group permission on a certain folder and then whoever is in this folder in a user provisioning will have access to that folder and nobody else I've done all that before so you can go check those videos now we're gonna add move or add so for the groups you can add move you can add uh, I can either add this group into another group or I could click properties and click on members add member here or from the guest I can add to a group and from check name I could see user it should show up user provisioning double click successfully added if I go into user provisioning in the members uh, user provisioning properties members show up here all right so that's how you do it I mean there are multiple ways now I believe for this toss I'm done I'm gonna close it try to submit it and see if I get the credit you will know that I did the right thing mm, oh yes all right so hopefully this uh, video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one